welcome to Allies or Enemies, where we talk about games and how they work for two players. This time we're talking about one of the games that got us into the hobby, Takenoko. Takenoko is an adorable game about the epic struggle between a bamboo gardener and a chubby panda. Players build the garden together, sometimes growing bamboo and sometimes putting that bamboo into the panda's bottomless belly. Players win by completing random cards that relate to those three things and having the most points from those cards at the end. It's a fairly light game for two to four players that only takes 30-ish minutes and is super pretty to look at. The rule book is as delightfully quirky as everything else, and it does a great job of teaching what is a fairly simple game. Each turn, players choose two actions. The core actions are placing a tile, growing bamboo, taking an irrigation marker, eating bamboo, or taking a card. The last one is key, as cards are how you score points. Each card has either a pattern of tiles, an arrangement of grown bamboo, or a selection of bamboo that's got to go into your panda's tum-tum. When you complete what's on the card, you place it face up, and you get those points at the end of the game. When someone gets to nine cards the game is done. On top of this is one bonus action at the start of your turn that comes from a roll of the dice, and this adds a little bit of randomness. The six sides of the dice are all based on the weather. Lightning scares the panda and makes him eat some bamboo. Rain grows bamboo. Clouds provide a special bonus. Sun lets you take a free action. Wind lets you do something twice. And a question mark is a wild card. It's not enough randomness to really swing things, but... It provides a fun bonus each round. As you may have guessed, we love the look of this game. The farmer is hilariously frazzled. The panda is happily chubby. The garden tiles look great. The icons are all easy to follow. The player mats have spaces for panda tummies. And there are terrific little touches like the wonderful player markers with their little designs, the bamboo that interlocks to create the tall stalks, and the irrigation markers. It does everything really well. Even the insert works great. This is a game that makes people look twice. And it makes a huge difference moving an actual painted panda mini and seeing the bamboo filling up the board before you gobble it up to the gardener's eternal dismay. Because building the garden and moving the characters is all a shared experience, the game works well at any player count. Higher counts will make a bit of a bigger garden and make it tougher to complete those bamboo goals due to more panda-eating chaos. But at two players, there's a great back and forth of deciding whether to try to complete your own cards or mess with what you think are your opponent's goals, although you never really know if you're hurting or helping them, so it's usually better just to do your own thing as fast as you can. And with two, that tends to be pretty quick as our games are often just over 30 minutes, which makes it really easy to play another round. We've been playing this one for years and have never tired of it, even as we moved on to much bigger and more complex games. It really has a welcoming feel to it and a great pace. Because your goals are always different, your game will always play different. And the balance is such that it generally makes sense to do a bit of everything. So there really isn't an ideal path. Plus the dice adds a bit of randomness that makes it anyone's game. We often have one of us start off strong only to have the other one luck into a few quick cards and zip ahead. Even if you do want a bit more though, there is an expansion that adds a Mrs. Panda along with new special tiles and some special points from panda babies. Because unlike real pandas who are famously uninterested, if this panda couple is on a space together, well... For my money, Takenoko is one of the better gateway games out there. It's beautiful to look at, quick to play, easy to learn, and has some great examples of board game fundamentals, such as set collection, action selection, and tile placement that will make it easier to get into those next level games. Plus, it's just really fun. It's a silly theme over a secretly tight design that I would highly suggest for anyone new or newish to the hobby or even for vets that just want a fun, light game that still feels rewarding. And just look at that poor gardener. He really needs your help. And that's it. As always, we'd love to know your thoughts on this game, as well as if you have any other gateway games that you think might be underrated. And please like or subscribe, and hopefully we will see you all next time. 
for another game.